Hey guys, so today we're going to be making these super cute donut pumpkins that I found on Studio DIY. So what you'll need to make them are mini pumpkins, some different colored paints, some assorted paint brushes, a little paper plate, and a few cups and a cup of water to wash your brushes. So first what I'm going to be doing is mixing tan and white paint to make my base donut color. And I just mixed one part tan paint and then two parts white paint. But you can just do whatever color you feel that you want for your donuts. So now I'm going to flip my pumpkin over and start painting on the base. And you want to paint about two thirds up the sides of the donut. And you want to keep constantly checking and flipping over your donut to make sure you haven't gone up too far and to leave room for the icing. So I'm just going to keep painting and after you, if your hand is getting too tired then you can always put your pumpkin onto a cup like I'm going to do right now and it's much easier to paint it this way. So now that I've painted two thirds of my pumpkin, I am done and I've done all my other pumpkins now and they are ready to be iced. So first I'm going to, before I ice the pumpkins, I'm going to take the tan paint again and I'm going to trace a little circle around the stem for the donut hole. And now I'm, first I'm going to be doing a chocolate pumpkin and then a strawberry one and then a vanilla. So first I'm going to just paint on the brown paint. And now I'm just going to be tracing around the edge of the donut that we made before so that I don't go over the lines or anything. And you can do this before you start painting the pumpkin brown, but I just decided to put on a little base layer and then trace around it. So now after I'm done tracing, I'll just finish the first coat of the brown paint. And I used two coats for all of the icing colors. I only used one coat for the donut colors. So after it's dry, I'll just paint it over again to give it a more opaque chocolate look. And this is what I'm doing here. So I frosted all my pumpkins and the paint is dry and now it's time to add these sprinkles. So I'm just going to be adding them to the chocolate pumpkin first and I used white, pink, blue, turquoise, yellow, and green I think and chocolate um, for some of them. So yeah, I think those are the, all the colors that I use for sprinkles. Of course you can use any colors that you want, but I just kind of left it to more of a pastel palette. So yeah, I just added as much sprinkles as I could and fit them all onto there. I think the more sprinkles you have, the better it looks.
and this is what all the donuts look like with sprinkles on them. I just think they're so cute. So after all my sprinkles are dried, everything is dry, I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge onto it to give the glaze part a more glossier finish. And you want to make sure your Mod Podge has the glossy finish and not the matte finish if you want it to be glossy. I just think it looks better that way and it makes your um, donut look actually glazed. So these are all my finished donuts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please stay tuned for next week's also pumpkin DIY. I will see you then. Bye!